Hello everyone and welcome back to this tutorial series on commands in Minecraft where today we're going to be learning about the clear command. Also we're going to do a quick review of the give command and learn how to make items with custom names. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so before we use the clear command we're going to need some items in our inventory. So let's go ahead and get some items but at the same time review the give command and also learn how to put some custom names on the items that we want using either the anvil which we're going to do now, or the give command, which we're going to do right after this. So all I've done is place the stick on the anvil, and now you can see I'm typing out a new name for this item. When I pick it up, it'll no longer be a stick, but a stick with the name of twig. Now something interesting about this is if you go back to this chest here where I have some sticks, you'll notice that I cannot put this stick into the stack with the other sticks. And the reason for that is that this stick has NBT data that is not the same as this stack of items. In other words, this stick with the name of twig is no longer the same item, and therefore it cannot stack. Now that we've seen how to give an item a custom name with an anvil, let's go ahead and learn how to do it with the give command. So go ahead and type out the command. And let's go ahead and follow what we see on the screen by using give and then designating ourselves as the player. And let's go ahead and give ourselves an egg for the item. Now, we've come to the part where we have these brackets around these last three parts of the command. We've never really looked at this in close detail, so let's go ahead and do it now. Here we can see the very first thing we're going to enter is the amount of eggs that we would like to give ourselves. So let's go ahead and type in 10. After that, we have another number to insert, which is data. Now, don't worry about that right now. We'll come back to that a little bit later because it doesn't matter with this particular item. And it would be a little confusing to try and explain it when we're not actually giving ourselves an item with data. Next, we're going to look at the data tags. Now, this is the NBT tags we were talking about earlier that allow us to give our items custom names along with some other cool stuff we'll see in future videos. For now, let's learn how to use custom item names by typing out a set of curly brackets and then typing the word display and adding a colon. Now we want to open another set of curly brackets and this time instead of typing out display, we want to type out name. And you want to make sure that the first letter of this word is capitalized. After that, type a colon and then the name of your item. So this time we're giving ourselves 10 eggs with the name of breakfast. Go ahead and close the curly bracket for the name section and then close the curly bracket for the display section. Press enter and there you have it. You have 10 eggs named breakfast. So let's go ahead and use the clear command now. So let's get all of these items here that we can use. And we're going to type out forward slash clear. And we've now cleared every single item in our inventory. As we just saw, similar to the kill command we looked at in the last video, if you type out forward slash clear and press enter, you will not be given the syntax of the command, but rather you will clear your entire inventory. Now, to help you guys learn the syntax, I have it displayed here on the right side of the screen. And we're going to look at how to use the clear command in a more complex way. So let's go ahead and type out the command. And we're going to specify that the player that we want to clear is ourselves. Now, if you're playing on a multiplayer world and you wanted to clear one of your friend's inventories, you could do this by either using the nearest player tag and then giving it the trait of name and then typing out their name. Or you could just simply type their username here. If their name was Bob, you would type it there and then you would be clearing Bob's inventory, and then you could type out some more complex stuff here, as you can see with the items and the data, the max count and data tag and all of that. But since we're playing single player, we're just gonna keep ourselves as the target, and we're gonna clear a special item with a custom name. Now, if I go ahead and close this, you can see the first cobblestone in my inventory is in fact given the name Rock. Now this makes it a different item, than the rest of these pieces of cobblestone. So let's go ahead and use the clear command to get rid of that item with the name of rock. So type out clear, 
and you're going to target yourself and then we're going to target that piece of cobblestone that has the custom name of rock. Now we're at the part of the command where we need to specify the data and we're going to go ahead and just say zero because this particular block doesn't have any data we need to worry about and then type the max amount of cobblestones with the custom name of rock that we'd like to get rid of but we only have one so let's just keep it simple and type one and then we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the give command to use nbt tags to specify the custom name so here's a good little review we want to open the curly brackets type out display add the colon open a new set of curly brackets type out name with a capital n add a colon and then that custom name, which is rock. Close both sets of curly brackets and press enter. And we've now removed that one item from our inventory. Now let's go ahead and use the clear command one last time and get rid of the rest of this cobblestone. But let's go ahead and get rid of the cobblestone and have another item in our inventory so we can practice removing just one type of item that does not have a custom name. Let's go ahead and type out clear, target ourselves, and then say what we want to remove, which is cobblestone. We've now removed all the cobblestone in our inventory, and we can clear our entire inventory one last time by simply typing out clear. Okay guys, so now that we know how to use the clear command, and now that we've learned a more complex use of the give command, let's go ahead and wrap up this tutorial by looking at those mysterious data IDs that keep popping up in both of those commands. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a wool block, and we'll notice that the default wool block is the white wool block. But what if you want to give yourself a wool block that has a color other than white? Well, you probably guessed it, that color is the data ID. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a wool block, just one of them, with the ID of one. And you can see we now have an orange wool block and not a white wool block. If you go ahead and open up the chat and press up on your keyboard, it'll bring up the last line of text you entered and you can easily cycle through all of the different IDs to see that it does in fact give you different colors of wool. Now you might be asking yourself, what if I use the data ID with an item that doesn't have different colors, such as a stone sword? Well, let's go ahead and do it. If we type out stone sword, give ourselves one, and give it the data ID of 20, you'll notice that we didn't get a different color, well, because that doesn't exist, but rather we've given ourselves a stone sword that is damaged. If we do the same thing, only this time instead of 20, we type out 200, you'll see that we have a broken stone sword. This is how the data ID works with this particular type of item, which is a weapon. Now it does the same thing as you can guess with a tool. So if you give yourself, instead of a stone sword, a stone shovel, give yourself just one and give it, let's say 50 as the data ID, you'll get a damaged shovel. Well, that concludes this tutorial on the clear command and also the review on the give command where we learned how to use the NBT tags to give ourselves custom item names. And also we learned how to use the data IDs to do things such as give ourselves damaged weapons like the sword in my hand and also the different blocks with different data IDs for color. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.